Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about solid geometry, the plane. Let us see the definition of plane. A plane is a surface. A plane is a surface such that any two points are taken on it. The line joining them lies wholly on the surface. Plane is a surface. Remember that plane has does not particular shape it is a surface just it is a surface such that it satisfies one condition if any two points are taken on it then the line joining the two points lies entirely on the surface lies entirely on the surface suppose if you take a circle if you take a circle and any two points if you take any two points on it the straight line joining the two points is entirely lies on the surface. So this is a plane. This surface is a plane. Suppose take one more example. Yes. Now choose here is a point. Choose one more point here. Let us join these two points. This is figure number one. This is figure number two. Now, if you join these two points, the straight line joining these two points does not lies entirely on the surface. It does not lies on the surface. So this surface is not a plane. This is not a plane. This is the theoretical definition of plane. Plane is a surface. Plane is a surface such that any two points are taken on it, then the straight line joining them lies wholly on the surface let us see one more example for this one suppose if you take a triangle let us take a triangle now take any two points on it now take any two points on it the straight line joining the two points is entirely lies on the surface is entirely lies on the surface so this diagram represents a plane this diagram represents a plane so a plane is a surface in which if any two points taken on it then the straight line joining the two points is entirely lies on the surface let us see the general equation of the surface general equation of the surface the general equation of the surface is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero where a square plus b square plus c square not equals to zero this equation represents the general equation of the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero where a square plus b square plus c square not equals to zero represents the general equation of the plane so right let us see the definition of the equation every equation of first degree every equation of first degree in three variables x comma y comma z every equation of first degree in three variables x y z represents a plane represents a plane that is an equation of first degree in three variables must be in this form ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero that's why we take that equation as general equation of the plane so ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero is the general equation of the plane where a b c d are the constants or real numbers these are also known as the direction ratios of the plane let us see the normal form of the plane let us see the normal form of the equation to the plane the normal form of the equation to the plane is lx plus my plus nz is equals to p the normal form of equation to the plane lx plus my plus nz is equals to p where where l comma m comma n are direction cosines where l m n are direction cosines of the normal line to the plane where l comma m comma n are direction cosines of the normal line to the plane and p is this p is the distance between origin and the plane that p is the distance between origin and plane if the plane passes through the origin if the plane passes through the origin 
then the p becomes zero it means the distance becomes zero if the plane passes through the origin then p is equals to zero in such a case the equation of the plane is taken as lx plus my plus nz is equals to zero observe that so we learn about plane equations in two forms the general equation of the plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to zero this is known as general equation of the plane and also remember that every equation of first degree every equation of first degree in three variables x comma y comma z represents a plane represents a plane so right the normal form of the plane lx plus my plus nz is equals to zero is equals to p lx plus my plus nz is equals to p is known as normal form of the plane is known as normal form of the plane where l comma m comma n are direction cosines of the normal to the line they are direction cosines of the normal line to normal line to the plane and p is the distance between origin and plane p is the distance between origin and plane if the plane passes through origin if the plane passes through origin then p is equals to zero in this case the equation of the plane is lx plus my plus nz is equals to zero that's it right let us continue transformation transformation of the equation to the plane into the normal form we transform the equation of the plane from norm from general form to normal form let us see the procedure consider the general equation of the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 the general equation of the plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 where a square plus b square plus c square is not equals to 0 where a square plus b square plus c square not equals to 0 now shift this shift this plus d into right side you get minus d ax plus by plus cz is equals to minus d divide on both the sides with divide on both the sides with plus or minus square root of a square plus b square plus c square we get this expression ax plus by plus cz divided by plus or minus root a square plus b square plus c square is equals to plus or minus d by root a square plus b square plus c square now split the terms split the terms by splitting the terms you get this plus or minus a by root a square plus b square plus c square into x plus plus or minus b by root a square plus b square plus c square into y plus plus or minus c by root a square plus b square plus c square into z is equals to plus or minus d by root a square plus b square plus c square now replace these terms by l m n and p now replace these terms by l m n and p you get this equation lx plus my plus nz is equals to p which is normal form of the plane where l is equals to plus or minus a by root a square plus b square plus c square m is equals to plus or minus b by root a square plus b square plus c square n is equals to plus or minus plus c by root a square plus b square plus c square but p is equals to mod less of p is equals to mod less of d by root a square plus b square plus c square why because p is nothing but distance p is nothing but distance between origin and plane p is nothing but the distance between origin and plane so you observe that the distance is always non negative the distance is always non negative that's why that's why we take here modulus so remember that to convert the general equation of the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 into lx plus normal form lx plus my plus nz is equals to p you have to divide the equation with root of plus or minus root of a square plus b square plus c square if you divide the general equation with plus or minus root a square plus b square plus c square on both sides you get the normal form of the equation you get the normal form of the equation that's it let us go for the next there is a note point observe that 
the direction ratios the direction ratios of normal to the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 or a comma b comma c we observe that ax plus by plus cz plus cz plus d is equals to 0 is the general form of the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 is the general form of the plane here a b c are small a b c are coefficients of x y z coefficients of x y z they have an additional property which are known as direction ratios which are known as direction ratios of normal to the plane of normal to the plane they are a b c are the direction ratios of normal line to the plane they are also coefficients of x y z also the distance between origin and the plane ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 is mod d by root a square plus b square plus c square very very important for formula observe that the distance between origin what is origin 0 comma 0 comma 0 origin is 0 comma 0 comma 0 the distance between origin and the plane is given by mod d by square root of a square plus b square plus c square after that uh, there is a note point number three observe that the first degree equation in x y z without constant term is a plane passing through the origin the first degree equation in three variables x y z without constant term without constant term is a plane passing through the origin is a plane passing through the origin there is a result you must learn this result which is very very important the first point is very very important point observe that if the equations a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equals to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equals to 0 represents the same plane. So this is the question. Two given equations, two equations represents the same plane. Two equations represents the same plane. If and only if they satisfy the condition a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 is equals to d1 by d2 two equations two equations in three variables x y z represents the same plane if their coefficients are in the same ratio that is a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equals to zero and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equals to zero represents the same plane implies and implied by a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 is equals to d1 by d2. Let us see the second point lx plus my lx plus my is equals to p lx plus my is equals to p is the equation to the plane parallel to z axis is the equation to the plane parallel to z axis lx plus nz is equals to p lx plus nz is equals to p is the equation to the plane parallel to y axis parallel to y axis my plus nz is equals to p is the equation to the plane parallel to x axis parallel to x axis remember these forms lx plus my is equals to p parallel to z axis lx plus nz is equals to p parallel to y axis my plus nz is equals to p parallel to x axis that's it let us see the next one angle between two planes again very very important concept very very important concept observe that the angle between two planes the angle between two planes right the angle between two planes is defined as the angle between their normal lines that is the very very important point here remember the theoretical definition of a angle between planes the angle between two planes the angle between two planes is defined as the angle between their normal lines the angle between their normal lines right let us consider two planes a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 is equals to zero and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 is equals to zero are any two planes let theta be the angle between equation one and equation two let theta be the angle between equation one and equation two then cos theta is given by then cos theta is equals to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 divided by 
square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Cos theta is equals to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 divided by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Suppose if theta is 0 degrees or 180 degrees. Suppose if theta is 0 degrees or 180 degrees. It means, it means, suppose if the theta is 0 degrees or 180 degrees, it means the planes are parallel to each other. The planes are parallel to each other. If theta is 0 degrees or 180 degrees, then the planes are parallel to each other. That is, equation 1 comma equation 2 are parallel, implies and implied by either theta is equals to 0 degrees or theta is equals to 180 degrees. If the planes are parallel, if the planes are parallel, then we conclude that if the planes are parallel, then we conclude that the angle between them, the angle between them is theta is equals to 0 degrees or theta is equals to 180 degrees. So, right. After that, the coefficients of x, y, z, the coefficients of x, y, z in both the equations, the coefficients of x, y, z in both the equations are in the same ratio, are in the same ratio. A1 is to A2 is equals to B1 is to B2 is equals to C1 is to C2. That is nothing but A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C2. C1 by C2. Observe that. This is very, very important point to remember. If two planes are parallel, if two planes are parallel, then the angle between them is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees. Their coefficients are in the same ratio. Their coefficients are in the same ratio. That is A1 is to A2 is to A1 is to A2 is equals to B1 is to B2 is equals to C1 is to C2. Which implies A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C2. Right. If theta is 90 degrees, if again important point, if theta is 90 degrees, if theta is 90 degrees, then the given planes are perpendicular to each other. If theta is 90 degrees, then the given planes are perpendicular to each other. It means theta is equals to 90 degrees, then cos theta is equals to zero. Cos theta is equals to zero because cos 90 degrees is zero. Cos 90 degrees is zero. Therefore, we get this. A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 is equals to zero. A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 is equals to zero. So let us observe this point. Suppose two planes, two planes, phi 1 comma phi 2 are parallel. Two planes are parallel. Two planes are parallel. Implies and implied by A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C, C1 by C2. Implies and implied by theta is equals to 0 degrees or theta is equals to 180 degrees. Two planes are parallel. Then we have the coefficients of the planes are in the same ratio. A1 by A2 is equals to B1 by B2 is equals to C1 by C2. If two planes phi1 and phi2 are perpendicular to each other, phi1 is perpendicular to phi2, implies and implied by theta is equals to 90 degrees. Implies and implied by theta is equals to 90 degrees. Implies and implied by a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 is equals to zero. Very, very important conditions to solve the problems. And also, you must remember that the angle between two planes, the angle between two planes is evaluated by the formula cos theta is equals to a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 divided by square root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into square root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Observe that and learn that formula, right? Let us see the one more form of the form plane. The intercept form, again important form. The intercept form of the equation to the plane is, the intercept form of the equation to the plane is 
ए एक्स बाई ए प्लस वाई बाई बी प्लस जेड बाई सी इज इक्वल टू वन द इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म ऑफ द इक्वेशन टू द प्लेन इज एक्स बाई ए प्लस वाई बाई बी प्लस जेड बाई सी इज इक्वल टू वन रिमेंबर दैट इफ द प्लेन इज इन इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म देन द इक्वेशन ऑफ द प्लेन डज नॉट पासिस थ्रू ऑरिजन डज नॉट पासिस थ्रू does not passes through origin because if it passes through origin if it passes through origin means x0 y0 z0 is equals to 1 it means we get a contradiction 0 is equals to 1 that is the note point here intercept form of the equation of the plane x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equals to 1 does not passes through the origin does not passes through the origin now you remember that we learned three different forms of the plane We learn three different forms of the plane. The first one is general form. A x plus b y plus c z plus d is equals to zero is known as general form of the plane. General form of the plane. The next one, l x plus m y plus n z is equals to p. L x plus m y plus n z is equals to p is known as normal form of the plane. Is known as normal form of the plane. And x by a Plus y by b plus z by c is equals to one is known as intercept form of the plane. Is known as intercept form of the plane. Remember these equations and practice these equations. Let us solve the. Let us see the next one. <coughs> the equation to the plane. The equation to the plane passing through three non-collinear points. The equation to the plane. The equation to the plane. Passing through three non-collinear points, capital Y of x1, y1, z1, capital B of x2, y2, z2, and C of x3, y3, z3 must be in this form. You observe that x1 must be in this form. Modulus of x determinant. This mod represents determinant of the matrix. Det determinant of the matrix. X, y, z1, x1, y1, z1, one, x2, y2, z2, one. X three y three z three one is equals to zero. The same determinant can be expressible in this form. We use familiarly this one. Mod x minus x one, y minus y one, z minus z one. X two minus x one, y two minus y one, z two minus z one. X three minus x one, y three minus y one, z three minus z one is equals to zero. This equation represents a plane, a plane which passes through three points A, B, C. Which path passes through three points A, B, C? They are non-collinear. They are non-collinear. The coordinates are x1, y1, z1, and x2, y2, z2, x2, y2, z2. And the point C is x3, y3, z3. So any equation to the plane passing through three non-collinear points is evaluated or is find out by this formula. Mod x minus x1. Y minus y one, z minus z one, x two minus x one, y two minus y one, z two minus z one, x three minus x one, y three minus y one, z three minus z one is equals to zero. This form is known as determinant form of the matrix. Determinant of the determinant form of the matrix. Suppose, suppose if this determinant is equivalent to zero, if this determinant is equivalent to zero according to four points, according to four points x one y one z one one, x two y two z two one. X three y three z three one x four z four y four is equals to one. Then the four points x one y one z one. Then the four points x one y one z one x two y two z two x three y three z three x four y four z four are passes through are collinear are collinear. It means they lies on the same line. It means they lies on the same plane. They lies on the same plane. Observe that. If this determinant, the same determinant in the previous case, if this determinant is not equals to zero, then they are non-coplanar. Then they are non-coplanar. And the next result, you must buy hard this result. You must buy hard this result, which is very, 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 very important. We use this formula in the first unit. We use this formula in the second unit. We use this formula in the third unit as well as in fourth unit and fifth unit also. So this is very, very important formula. Remember that the equation to the plane, the equation to the plane passing through a point x one y one z one passing through a point x one y one z one and perpendicular to a line, 
whose direction ratios are a comma b comma c is in the form a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equals to 0 if we represent this equation in the diagram it will be like this this is a line whose direction ratios are a b c and which are perpendicular to the plane and it passes through the point p observe that the equation to the plane which passes through x1 y1 z1 and perpendicular to a line whose direction ratios are a b c is in the form a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 is equals to 0 observe that right next to form we learn one more form of the plane equation the parametric form the parametric form of the equation to the plane the parametric form of the equation to the plane suppose the equation of the plane passing through three non collinear points capital a of a bar capital b of b bar capital c of c bar then the equation must be in this form r bar is equals to r bar is equals to 1 minus t minus s into a bar plus t b bar plus s c bar which represents a plane which represents a plane in parametric form and which passes through three non collinear points which passes through three non collinear points observe that so this is the fourth form of the plane this is the fourth form of the plane you observe that after that the next important definition the perpendicular distance of a point from a plane the perpendicular distance between a point and plane the perpendicular distance between a point and plane if the point is x1 y1 and z1 if the point is x1 y1 z1 and the plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 if the point is x1 y1 z1 and the plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d is equals to 0 then the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance then the perpendicular distance between the point and plane then the perpendicular distance between the point and the plane is given by the formula mod ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square very very important formula remember this one the perpendicular distance between the perpendicular distance between a point and plane a point and plane mod ax1 plus by1 plus cz1 plus d divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square right let us learn the same another important formula the parallel i mean the distance between the parallel planes the distance between the parallel planes the distance between two parallel planes ax plus by plus cz plus d1 is equals to 0 and ax plus by plus cz plus d2 is equals to 0 is given by mod mod d1 minus t2 mod d1 minus d2 divided by square root of a square plus b square plus c square observe the form of the parallel planes the parallel planes different the parallel planes differ in constant terms only the parallel planes differ in constant terms only the parallel planes differ in constant terms only for example 2x plus 3y plus 4z plus 4z is equals to 3 and 3x i mean 2x 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equals to 5 these two equations are parallel planes parallel planes differ in constant terms only the coefficients the coefficients of parallel planes the coefficients of x y z in parallel planes are in the same ratio a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2 that's it so already we learned this condition now if two planes are parallel if two planes are parallel then the angle between them is either 0 degrees or 180 degrees their coefficients must be in this form a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c that's it so right 
द डायरेक्शन कोसाइंस ऑफ ए लाइन वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन टू लैन विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू द थ्री डायमेंशनल जोमेट्री ओके uh we learn about the direction cosines in the next video uh practice the above formulas and above forms of the plane i mean we learn already general form we learn we learn the general form of the plane normal form of the plane and intercept form of the plane intercept form of the plane and parametric form of the plane and we learned some formulas distance between point and plane distance between parallel planes angle between two planes remember that general form of the plane normal form of the plane intercept form of the plane parametric form of the plane we learned four different types of plane equations and we learned the angle between two planes and we learned the condition for parallelity we learned the condition for perpendicularity and also we learned that the distance between a point and plane the distance between a point and plane in the next video we discuss about